Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I want to show you how to play Bus Simulator 18 in virtual reality. Even though it's currently unsupported by the developers. So without any delay, let's get started. In order to play Bus Simulator 18 in virtual reality, we need an open source program called OpenTrack. This will help our tracking device to trick the game into thinking that it is track IR which is supported. The link will be in the description, so all you need to do is download OpenTrack setup, download it to your computer, wait for it to download, and then install the software on your PC. So as you can see it finished downloading, so let's open it and install it. It will defaultly install into your C drive, but it's a small program so it shouldn't matter that much. And let's launch it. We can close the Chrome now or any other browser. And important is to set up your input. So in my case it will be Valve Steam VR as my input device, but if you have Oculus, you can choose that. Or if you have any other tracker that is supported, you will of course choose it. And most importantly, the output will be set as free track 2.0 enhanced. That will trick the game into thinking that we have track IR, which is supported. Next, there are some options that you don't need to tinker around in order to make it run, but it will make your make your session better if you set up the center shortcut, etc. And you can set up game detection, but I don't need it. When I launch it, I usually do it only for the bus simulator. Next thing is to set up the mapping, where you can edit how much you want to rotate or move your head in the game. So I tinkered around with this and I found my perfect settings for me, but everyone will have different settings. So if you want to just copy it, I'll, you can do it, but uh, I think that everyone should try around what's the best for them. So after we set up the mapping properties, all we need to do is launch SteamVR itself. So for me that means I need to connect my VR headset and launch the SteamVR overlay. So as you can see, I'm using the Microsoft Mixed Realities headset, which is made by Acer, and that's sufficient enough for playing Bus Simulator 18 in VR, but you can use any other VR headset. All we need to do is launch the Steam VR itself, and then we need to launch the Bus Simulator within the Steam VR, or we can launch it on desktop, as I will show you. You can do it in the VR overlay, but I rather alt tab and then go back. So, we need to go to settings of Bus Simulator 18 and check that you need to have this checked, which means when Steam VR is active, use uh, play the game in the VR. Uh, it's a feature for unsupported games that you can look in VR onto like a big screen. So let's just tick that and then... So, then after you click that, uh, we need to go to our open track and start the tracking. It will take a little bit, so don't worry when it lags or loads, nothing happening. Just wait a while, it needs to launch, see everything that is working. As you can see, we, have move it. we are moving the octopus by our headset. So that's essentially what we need to do. Now we need to launch the Bus Simulator 18 and click OK that we really want to launch it in VR. So this is what, what is happening in the virtual reality headset. And as you can see, it's saying connecting to game and after the game loads it will it will show up in the in the headset itself so if i put it on my head i can see the game in the headset 
Uh, sometimes you need to recenter and change the size. That depends on your use case. So I'll just hold the recenter here. Okay, so it's now centered for me on my headset. And we need to wait to we need to wait for the game to load and then we need to tweak one more setting and we are pretty much done and set up to play all right so the game uh, ported me here we need to go into settings game and turn on the track ir click apply and then we go to company menu and play something so let's say I just want to launch my company we need to wait for it to load and basically when we load the game and hop into a bus we can look around as we would have a truck IR so it doesn't mean you can walk around or let's say use the controllers for like advanced uh, clicking of buttons of course you can tinker around with all that stuff uh, the program itself does have a lot of options and as you can see we are now moving our head in virtual reality and we are playing bus simulator 18 in VR so if you want to drive around look into a mirror look into the other mirror Greet maybe some passengers, that's all you can do and it's that simple. So thanks for watching and I hope I helped you a little bit and you can enjoy the game in another perspective. Thanks for watching and see you later.